Hi, my name is Melanie, and today I'm going to show you how to create an agricultural map with Medix. Let's start by creating the dashboard and call it example. And call the new tab that opens agriculture. So we are interested in the situation in Switzerland. So first of all, we zoom in to Switzerland. And we want to have in the end an overview with two maps and two plots. So here in the tab settings, we change the layout to four tabs. And we want to have here another map. And on the right side, we want to have two plots. Okay, now we want to start adding the parameters to all the tiles. So we go to the layers. The layers um, come by default on the left hand side, but now I want to see the maps so I can simply move them to the right. We want to start with the upper left map and you can find it here if you hover over the different stacks, you see the two key frames appearing depending on which map you're going to change. So we start with this one. This should be a map about temperature. So we change the name to temperature and it should be at two meters above ground. So let's add the layer for temperature. First, we choose a color map, simply type T and you get the temperature uh, units in Celsius and the level should be two meters above ground and add it to the map. And we also want to have the isolines of the temperature. So we add a layer and change the mode to isolines, type again the T and choose the temperature. Now we see that there are only a few isolines, so we want to change that as well. And we can do that by defining a range. We can define a minimum, maximum, and a step of the isoline. So let's say we want to have the temperature from minus 20 to 30 degrees in a step of five degrees Celsius. And then you see that we get a few more isolines and you can also, for example, increase line width or change the line color, say maybe to red. And third, we want to change the, the map itself. So we don't want to have the basic one, but we want to have the map tiler basic. This is our first map. The second map, the one here, should be about precipitation. So we change the name to precipitation, change the layout, also to the map tiler basic one and add precipitation in a millimeters and interval of one hour. So next we want to change the plots. Therefore we take the layer stack and move it to the other side. So we can see the plots here. So let's start with the upper one. This one should be about St. Gallen and the temperature. So first of all, we change the location. If you click here, the pencil, a location search will appear and you can type any city or location in here. And we choose for this plot St. Gallen and by default, it has here the two meter temperature. But what we are interested in is the ground. So we open the settings for the temperature and change the level to minus 15 centimeters. Second, we want to add the minimum, maximum and the 10 year mean of the two meter temperature. Therefore, we add here a new 
parameter, type T, you immediately get the temperature. And now you have to change here to the one where you can define the measure, the level and the interval. Choose that. Then you can define the maximum. You want to have it at two meters and you want to have an interval of one hour. And apply it to the graph. We do the same for the minimum. We type the T, change here the format, get the minimum and the interval. For the minimum, we want to have, instead of a spline, we want to have columns, so we change the series type here. And now we finally at the 10 year mean of the temperature. Therefore, we choose here the level measure in unit one. And then we can choose here the 10 year mean and apply it to the plot. Finally, we change the bottom right graph. So this one should be again about sand gallon and the soil moisture. So first we change again the location to sand gallon. And now we want to change the default here, the two meter temperature to evapotranspiration. So we open the features and click the pencil here to change the parameter in total and type evapotranspiration, the beginning, and choose here our parameter, the units in millimeter in the interval one hour, and apply that to the graph. The second parameter we want to have is the soil moisture index. So we add, type soil, choose the soil moisture index, and we want to have it at minus 15 centimeters. Apply that. And we want to have a third parameter, which is the soil water content. Therefore, we type soil water content. Here we go. And we want to have these units and again, a level of minus 15 centimeters. There we go. And now we have a nice overview of the situation in Switzerland. And now we can, if you want to save that, we can simply save it and download a picture.